everybody goldie here and today we are continuing our look at the summer of domination with your chase character for this event d'lo brown first time character for him you love seeing new first timers in our game he is a chaotic acrobat for the attitude era trainer ability at 26k purple gems do 50 percent more damage and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one links nation of domination gems do 50 percent more damage attitude era gems do 10 percent more damage and just the one standard set of gear he is your chase character so i'm bringing out the fancy schmancy 30 percent um preview strap First build we're going to take a look at is available at three star. We have the sleeper hold, six MP color submission. Choose eight gems to make into purple submission gems and do 172,904 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into color turn gems. Purple one, the sit out power bomb, six MP, deal 102,668 damage and make 30 random gems into color turn gems. And purple two, the moon salt, also six MP, deal 112,484 damage and make 35 color turn gems into green gems. So flashback to the Kama Mustafa preview where I said this is probably a D-Lo trainer. Kobe. We're going to be using Steel for green MP, Kama for 40% more damage to the green gems and a flat 12,000 to the color turns, Striker RVD for another flat 12,000 to color turns, and Showboat Lex Luger for 12,000 flats to the green gems. Again, we have that fancy 30% gem damage ultimate strap, two sets of Fury 2s, and for this build, we're going to be using the All Heart Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So again, first build. Let's see how this fares. So going to make a four match here to load everything up. And then just going to cover up the purple ones I already have. Some healthy sub damage too. So a super sub build would probably be... It would recycle pretty straightforward. Because even if you lose the sub gems, you're still putting out this to recycle. So would still definitely work. Um, so the all heart plate applies... 54 to the greens, 78k on green color turns. We're going to make 30 more color turn gems. And we're going to turn those into green. So the first stack is 3.1. go ahead and hit the submission again so we're gonna get another stack of the all heart plate here this is on the slower side it is fairly safe though you have good board control four turns on the sub so that's a nice base now we are doing 89k for a color turn Put out some more of those. Turn all of them green. Another 3.1. So not as friendly of a cascade. Love when that kicks you out. Okay, so stack number three of the all heart. We're on turn five, so I know people are like, this is slow. But again, it's on the safer side. There is another build we can incorporate with a different green move, which we will do after this. But I'm 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 77, 101. So that's, we're on turn six, but that's three stacks of the all part of the all heart plate. He hasn't hit us with a move yet. Fairly controlled, minimal health, lost. What's this gonna do? 3.5. So fairly consistent. The issue with this build is green is his third strongest color. So when you're boosting that, it's always going to maybe feel like a bit of a letdown. I feel like with LA Knight being plus two purple MP and color turn gem damage, that might have been a better call to make them um, turn purple instead of green. But alas, that is how it looks with the sub. Let's run that back with the other green move. So we're gonna take a look at this double purple again, but we're bringing in the diving clothesline for MP. Deal 76,580 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems. They will increase your purple MP by three on every countdown turn and increase your green gem damage by 60% for three turns at the end of the countdown. Um, Entourage for this is going to stay intact. I am using Bailey for the plus two green. Um, I do not have the ideal MP trainer for this, which if I scroll to the bottom, you will see that is Big Papa Pump. Plus two green MP and 50% green gem damage. That would be the play if you have them. If not, you could even just use Steel. I know it's a four MP move, but any kind of MP trainer would work here. Um, sticking with Kama and RVD and Showboat Lex, I have taken out the All Heart. We're not using a submission anymore. Using the glowing um, Phantom Power Plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three green move points at the end of your turn. If we can stagger these Juggernaut gems, the damage is going to stack and be really strong. Again, not safe in terms of having the sub to reduce the moves, but should be higher damage. <laughs> we have a green match, so that helps. Taking a green or a purple here. And then I, I try to keep these on the outside as much as possible. Mm, oh, they have a wild card. Kobe. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, we pinned them. <laughs> I went for it. I went for glory. I'm gonna go ahead and put those out. Our moves are loaded. What is he gonna do? He's gonna choose purple. He's totally gonna pin us. He's totally gonna pin us. All right, whatever. Let's just get this dealt with. So 42 and 66. We might as well hit a cycle of this. So there's a 1.9, and that's without the boost. Now hopefully he pins us here, because we can at least... There we go. That's actually more beneficial because we have four stacks of this now. So 146. Not that I enjoy saying, hey, I need you to pin me to make this work, but... Hopefully this lands on a green. It did. So 146, 227 per color turn. We're going to turn all of those green. Seven point seven. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, but those are the color turn builds. Let's go take a look at his blue moves. Next build we're going to take a look at is a triple blue available at five star. And he has what I call Ghostbuster Cena-itis in the sense that you can't get to the finisher until you hit the finisher. Um, that is what recycles everything. So it is going to be... Um, a turn two, maybe a turn three build. I am missing the Eyes of Judgment plate. That would be a massive help for this. 
Uh, but it's still going to hit fairly hard. It's just, it's not going to be turn one. Maybe top lane in a feud with double, I mean, max tour perks with two MP trainers and Santa Hogan. Feudable, possibly. We'll see. Uh, but the finisher is the lowdown. 10 MP, deal 168,607 damage, make 25 multiply gems into blue gems and pin the opponent. Blue 2, the flying forearm smash, 6 MP, deal 109,822 damage, and make 11 random gems into one turn countdown gems. That will deal 80,400 damage and make two random gems into multiply gems of strength six at the end of the countdown. And the five star move Sky High 6 MP deal 111,599 damage and decrease all countdown gem timers by one. Um, so a couple different ways you could play this. I'm going for the gem damage build here. Lawler for blue MP, Solo Sokoa for 50% more damage to blue gems and a multiply gem strength increase, King Seamus for the flat 12,000, and a Tech Cena for the extra countdown gem. What you could do, Lawler for blue, you could do Tech Lex for plus two blue and the multi strength. If you have a Santa Hogan at 17k, you can use that for MP, so that's four, six, seven. In a feud, you get three... It wouldn't be turn one because chances are your opponent has minus two, maybe on a line bonus, but probably still be a turn two build. So that's why I'm comfortable using solo here. Uh, but that is what I'm going to try. Also going to be running the Pyro Princess's Flaming Glove. Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your blue gem damage by 50% for two turns. You could also use the Ultimate Opportuna Z plate um, paired with the Eyes of Judgment, which I do not have. Um, but the Countdown plate, whenever you make four or more Countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. Probably better here, considering they're, they're both doing 50%. Let's just go ahead and swap that. I'm going to use the Z plate here. That way we get all colors instead of just the one. I'll go ahead and change that graphic for y'all. But like I said, I don't I don't have the Eyes of Judgment play. What we could do just for funsies is throw on the blue defensive stance. And that way we are getting 80% um, gem reduction for one turn. I don't know if the opponent's going to have health left. Very well could, but I doubt they'll be kicking out anytime soon. There's the graphic change. We did it on the fly. F it. We'll do it live. All right. So Z plate for 50% gem damage, reduce the opponent's blue defensive stance. And let's see what we got. All right. So we have some blue matches, which means I shall proceed. Countdown plate starts. 64 to the blue. Four hundred and fifty on that. I'm gonna take a blue match. And then we're gonna double stack. Might want to consider running uh, Powerhouse Kevin Owens. So we're at 72, 509. Might want to consider Powerhouse Kevin Owens um, to try to guarantee that blue match. But what's the verdict here? Oh, we left so many on the board. We left so many on the board. And we still hit, like, 11 mil. Dang. All right. Let's bring in the six-star move. The last build we're going to take a look at brings in the six-star move, which is the Thrust Spine Buster. 2 MP. Deal 49,870 damage plus... 
83,080 bonus damage for every countdown gem. So we're just going to run this full countdown gem damage to see what it does. Lawler for that blue MP. Ridge for 100%. Zombie Rhea for 35%. And Cena for an extra countdown down gem sticking with the zed plate sticking with the blue defensive stance still gonna need a blue match here uh but we're not triggering these countdown gems right away so we're just trying to see how much damage this bonus move does so, don't have a blue match so that puts an interesting wrinkle in things uh, 12 countdown gems, about 200k per, so that's 2.34. Yeah, let's take another purple match. And still no blue match. So I'm just going to hit this anyways. I'm not going to do much, but... Boo. There we go. Yeah, that's the Ghostbuster Cena-itis. You really need to match turn one. However, we should recycle here. I don't think I would use this move in place of the five star move if i'm being completely honest i'd rather just get all that rolling right away One, two. took the rest of my multiply gems so i'm gonna say and now he gets a miraculous three match so yeah not not worth it for me. Even with a full countdown entourage, absolutely not worth it for me. I'd stick with the triple blue. Unless something, you know, stupidly strong comes out for him. Which we've seen happen before, but... I don't know. A 2 MP bonus move, really, with no flow to it, so... Now we gotta try to swipe our way out of this. We'll get a match. Better than no match. Okay, so the bonus damage bailed us out. A little bit. Not a lot. Don't use this spell. <laughs> don't don't use this spell. I like the triple blue better. I really do. I'm fine playing for turn two, especially double the 10.9 we did. Again, the 10.9, we missed half the multiply gems. Uh, double that at six silver. But let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at D'Lo Brown, the Nation of Domination. Again, an Attitude Era Chaotic Acrobat. Trainer ability at 26k. Purple gems do 50% more damage and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Lynx Nation of Domination gems do 50% more damage. Attitude Era gems do 10% more damage. And just the one standard set of gear um so let me know what you think in the comments of this video what other nation of domination members would you like to see in game we do have a, a version of farouk already i would not be surprised to see us get a, another one maybe a version of the rock i don't know if they have the mark henry licensing but that would be fantastic uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of this video thank you very much for taking the time to watch be sure to like share with your friends and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out thank you again for watching and thank you for being a friend